All right, yo. So Winter 2021 marks probably the best season of anime in a long while. Like, during this winter, we had just absolute beasts airing. You know, we had, you know, we had an anime that is just proving itself to be one of the best animated pieces of entertainment in, like, history. Or, you know, Attack on Titan. You know, we had Shonen done to almost perfection in Jujutsu Kaisen. You know, we had a we had an Isekai that doesn't make me want to absolutely kill myself. Or, you know, ReZero. And then for all the other shows, they were all at least like 8 out of 10. Bro, so beefy. You know, Dr. Stone Season 2, Reborn as a Slime Season 2. And then, and then, like, all the other stuff that I haven't seen, but apparently, you know, people love this shit. Like, all of these have a really high rating of, like, you know, at least 8 out of 10. And then, you know, Attack on Titan is almost at the top of uh, the my anime list ratings. And, like, the final episode is coming out, what, like, in two days from me recording this? And, uh, yo, I, I'm not going to be surprised if that, like, actually surpasses... Um, Full Metal Alchemist. I kind of came up with this as I was browsing, you know, my anime list. And I just went to the front page and I, um, and they finally updated it to the spring, like, animes of, like, 2021. And I was just looking at, like, you know, what's going to come out. And as excited as I am for some of these, you know, new season of My Hero or the remake of Shaman King. I just, I don't think there's going to be, like, another season that will hold up to winter 2021 for like a good while the winter 2021 for anime was absolutely incredible and i don't know i'm just really grateful for the animation studios in japan like they kept me entertained through like the worst winter of my life and kind of sucks how animators in japan you know they don't get paid anywhere near enough you know for the amount of work that they put in you know, they're, they're overworked and underpaid. So I'm, I'm just really thankful for the great anime. Like, even like the bad ones are kind of funny. Like, was it? X-Arm, I think. You know, I haven't watched it myself just yet. But seeing it everywhere. And it's at 2.11 out of 10 on my anime list. I'm not going to lie. It does me, you know, it does have me kind of excited to watch it. I want to see just how bad it really can be. Like, since when do like shows just go straight to 2.11? After being out for like, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks or something. You know, it's, it's really something. Oh, and literally the only complaint that I have about like Winter 2021 is that they absolutely butchered, they absolutely butchered Promised Neverland. And, oh, like, I watched the final episode yesterday and it's like, they just ruined it. It could have been like, like you know, a solid like... I don't know, like, a 9 out of 10, like, overall series. Because, like, I, I don't think they could have, like, beat season 1. But, you know, th there were some interesting points in, like, season 2. You know, they're outside the, uh, you know, the farms now. You know, how they're going to survive. What they're going to do, you know. It's, it's kind of interesting. But then they're like, nah. We're, we're going to just cut out, like, a third of the show. And then we're going to cram in the last episode. Like, the last five minutes with, like so much stuff like it, it was literally a slideshow of like the things that happened post like post like where they kind of left off they, they gave us a montage of like just pictures and they're like yeah this happened this happened and then this happened and then whoa everyone just ha lives a happy life you know like what it could have been so much more interesting to actually watch them like go through the struggles but you know they just they just butchered the show, and I guess it kind of sucks, but I'll, I'll just have to read it to get the proper ending then. I mean, I did say that, like, the rest of 2021 will probably won't be as good as the the winter, but there are quite a few things to look forward to. You know, as I mentioned, there's my hero, Shaman King. Megalobox 2 is coming out. Like, I'm excited about that. Like, I really liked Megalobox 1. Then, the, the new show by the guy who did, um, Fairy Tale. I still haven't finished Fairy Tale. Eden Zero. That was kind of interesting. Tokyo so Revengers just sounds cool. Oh, The Way of the House Husband. I was um, searching for like manga to read, and I saw that, and I was like, I kind of want to, kind of want to watch that or read it. 
then obviously reincarnated as a slime. More Demon Slayer. I, I thought that there's more Demon Slayer to come this year. I was, I was really excited for that. And then um, the movie, the one that went on the train, that's coming to like US and stuff. So we'll be able to watch it, you know, 100% legally. <laughs> like sometime in uh, April. And Devil's a part-timer is getting season two. You mad? That was a part time. I was so good, and it was so ahead of its time. I'm so glad it's coming back. Uh, then we have some Baki, and then some other shows that I don't know. I, personally, I don't watch, but I might end up watching at some point. But I know other people will watch. You know that type of thing. You know the Maid Dragon show where it's like the maid's a dragon, and then yeah, <laughs> and then Fruits Basket like final season or something. Yeah, so that's about it. You know, I just really hope, you know, 2021 keeps up with uh, the good anime. Alright, peace.